Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you tuning in once again. So we were working on our Mustang, my 1982 IMSA Racer. Uh, this is the Motorcraft car, Motorsport car. It's not Motorcraft, it's Motorsport. Let's get it right. Get it right. Um, so I show you in the video here, we did the lines on it. Uh, got the blue lines painted. Man, that was, that was a challenge. My goodness, that was a challenge. My God, that tested me. I, it took quite a bit to figure out how to get the nice straight line uh, just because, you know, you got all the different lines in the body and then you had a whole front clip that come off uh, and you had to try to keep the line straight. Uh, so whoever did the box art, kudos to you, my friend, because it looks really nice uh, wherever you may be at this time because it's an old kit. Um, <laughs> but other than that, it turned out pretty good. I'm, I'm on the fence about it. I... I think it could have sprayed a little heavier, but I didn't really want that heavy paint line in there, you know what I mean? So I wasn't sure, and I didn't want to put it on so heavy that I was going to start bleeding under the tape. Use my original Tamiya tape like I always do. Uh, Tamiya tape is usually the best out there. I've tried different tapes, and man, that Tamiya just can't beat it, you know what I mean? Other than that, take you over to the bench. I'm getting, rid of this, getting this ready for the Detroit show coming up on the 24th. Uh, you guys in the area, go check that out. Uh, a lot of cool vendors, a lot of good stuff going on down there. Bring a model, put it on the table. Um, like I say, it's a great show and uh, looking forward to it. So this here is for the group build, this Mustang, uh, over at Mike's channel at Scale Speedworks. So check that out. There'll be a link in the description below. And he is hosting the group build for the anniversary of the Mustang coming up this year for 60 years of the Mustang coming up in April. Uh, so he hosted a group build for that. Very cool. Thanks for doing that, Mike. And we're trying to get this done, trying to get it wrapped up. It's been tedious. It's been it's been going, but we're getting it. We're getting it. So it's looking pretty good. Other than that, I'll take you over the bench and let's get started on this thing. And we'll see how we uh, get her masked out. So let's take a look. All right, guys, we got this cleaned up. I think we're looking pretty good there. Got her puttied up. So I'm going to hit this one more time with some primer. I'm not going to shoot the whole thing. Uh, just the back. I might hit this a little bit because I wet sand this down. You can see some of that silver popping through from when I painted this here. Not a big deal. Uh, that sanded out really, really nice. I hit that with some 5000. So she's nice and smooth. She's baby smooth. So yeah, so we're going to prime this real quick. And I think I'm going to throw it in the Suze Bake oven. And we can actually just go through and just get it painted. So I'm going to do that quick and see what she turns out like. All right, so we got that body primered. So this has been primered and it has not been wet sanded or anything like that. So what we're going to do is I want to make these vents to where they're a little more pronounced. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to do that. So I'm thinking about putting black paint in here and then sanding down the edges. I'm not sure how good that's going to work. I thought about black paint and then I thought about um, panel line. Because the panel line is a lot thinner. I'll try some of that first here. I only want that edge. I don't want the whole thing. So what I might do is just put this in here, let that set, and I'm going to wet sand this. So this will be ready for paint. I'll put it in pretty heavy. Maybe not that heavy. That might be too heavy. Let's, let's retract that a little bit. Nice Q-tip little suction action. There we go. Like so I'm not overly worried about the edges because I'm going to wet sand it down. I knew that was going to happen. Okay, like so. Okay, we're going to leave that set. We're going to let it dry. And we're going to come back and wet sand this down a little bit. And we'll get it ready for paint. So what I'm going to do is put this in the oven with the um, body. And we'll kind of go from there. Before I do that, I need to do these louvers here. We'll throw these two in the oven, come back to it when they cure a little bit. Alright, so this is pretty cured out. So we're going to just hit this with some of our 5,000. Let the magic of the sponge get in the hole. Okay, just quick wet sand. I think the hood pretty good. We get a little wet sand. 
and these will be ready to go. Get a quick wipe down and you can see how that filled in nice. So once we paint that, um, you'll still see the black in there. So that should turn out pretty good. I didn't know there's little screws or little bolts. Um, hope that's not going to be an issue. I might have to paint the other side. That might show through. So I'll pull the body out and we'll see how that looks. Okay, that looks pretty good. I got just a little spot there, but man, I don't know. I might just, I might just leave it. Just let it go. Alright guys, I'm going to work on this. I'm going to get this whole thing wet sanded and I'll bring it back and we'll take a look at it from there and we'll get it ready for paint once more and we'll dry it and we'll get this blue paint on here because that's that's when the coolness is going to start looking when we get some other color on it. Well, after wet sanding this down, got the black dried wet sand that up good. It don't really look like I need to paint this again because I put that on pretty heavy. So that actually cleaned up really nice. I thought I was going to have more spots in that. So we're just going to leave this like it is. That, that turned out really good right there. So we're just going to leave that. Uh, so at this point, we're going to get this taped up, get this ready for the blue, and I'm going to start pulling out some decals and see how much of an angle. Because looking at the box art, the, the decal kind of goes up on an angle. So we're going to have to follow that, that line along there. So I don't think I'm going to paint this either. Um, I was more concerned about the white that I put in there. So I found with these sponges, this works really good just to take and just slide it off to the side. And it gets down just enough to clean the top of that. And it still leaves that black in there pretty good. Like I say, this is a 5,000, so it's not overly aggressive. So you can do a little bit of work in there without tearing it up too fast. That's why I like using this, because it's not, like I say, it's not aggressive. It's just an easy, easy goer. And yeah, it takes a little bit more time, but it's not that much more time so that looks pretty good there so it's nice because you look at it this way it's kind of like the hood you don't see it as much but when you look at it from the side the hood's the same way so if you look at it this way you got that nice um, louvered look but if you look at it this way you don't hardly see the black at all so that's kind of what I wanted so it actually cleaned up better than I thought so that's why I thought you know what I'm not gonna bother repainting that white because uh, that cleaned up really nice so I'm not even gonna bother with it I don't see any burn through or anything like that so we're just going to leave that. So anyways, we're going to use our LP2. This is to me a just regular gloss white. And we are going to use our Mr. Hobby thinner. And I'll do my usual two cup thing here. So we'll just mix this enough to cover that hood. And the thing is we don't have to give the hood like an extreme heavy paint job. Because it's already been colored once. So we're going to go to my 2.5 mark. This bottle's about gone. So I guess it's alright that I'm just doing a little bit of mix. It's probably halfway there. So we're mixing... 5 milliliters total, which is probably way more than I need. But that's okay, because it's, um, time I spray a spoon and all that good stuff. It'll be about right. I don't want to give it just a couple thin misties and that's it. So we're going to paint it pretty decent, and then we're going to let it bake out. And we'll call her good. Alright, I'm going to get this painted, and I'll bring you guys back. Alright guys, we're going to get this ready to get taped up. So I'm just looking through the instructions just to give myself a little bit of a guide. I'm painting it because this goes up on an angle so it's not just obviously straight down so looking at the bodywork uh, the bodywork kind of goes on an angle as well so it shouldn't be too hard to follow because you have the line here and you can see this is flat here and it tapers up so we just got to follow that contour from straight to bottom because they have on here it's kind of going straight and then they have a little angle so if I can I'm gonna try to angle it right off the get-go um, so I'm probably going to start mocking some decals up first and just see how far they go up the body line and then we'll go from there. So I'm going to take my decals and I'm going to cut them out. I'm going to keep them as straight as possible, as close as I can to the edge um, and then go from there. So I'm going to cut both sides. I'm not going to cut these out because I know those wrap around the front, which this is easy because uh, it's just along that body line. So that's an easy tape. But from here back is where it's going to start skewing a little bit. So I just have to make sure we got to stay on target with that. So like I said, I'm going to get these cut out and then I kind of go from there and see. So I'll have to make sure I keep right and left, left and right. Uh, obviously I'm not going to cut the hood ones out or anything like that. Uh, we're just going to mainly concentrate on the ones that go across the sides here. Just the lower ones. Like I said, I'm just going to try just a real careful, keep it tight. Because you can always see the edge of your decal. 
So I'm going to leave that on there just for glue purposes. So I'm going to get that right to that edge. And this piece here is going to go up the up this side here. So I'm hoping my decals are still okay. I'm starting to skew a little bit there. It was getting danger close. Okay, so there's that side. We'll just do one side at a time for right now just to kind of mock it up. These decals are starting to yellow pretty good, but I think where we need to be, I think we're all right. So left side, so the light blue is on the top, obviously. So I'm gonna have to take my tape out the front here, I think, just to be easier to work with. I thought I had white, but actually that's the paint. The paint come off. So that overlaps quite a bit onto there. So I'm gonna start off by taping this off. That way it'll give me that nice, true line to start with. So we're gonna use our Tamiya tape. Uh, this is six millimeter, I think. I think it's six millimeter. Scale of it. Because looking at the box art compared to the model art, this decal doesn't really ride that far up. See, they got it about to here on that quarter panel. And the box art shows it's almost up to here. Yeah, so I just keep referring to the box art for it just to see, just to make sure. So I know I'm, I know my one line is right here. You can see the decal sits here because there's a white line right here. So I need to be just below that. Okay guys, so after some serious deliberation here, trying to get this blue stripe on the side here. This is kind of tricky. It's been tricky, I'm not going to lie. So I fear I got it figured out here. So I end up taking my straight edge, and I actually referred to the photos. And this rear sail panel, it's about four marks up before the bottom of that line right there. So I installed the panel just temporarily, and marked it up and then marked the inside of the body and what I did from there is took this ruler and basically laid it inside the body here laid it flat and scrap my line and same thing here so if we go here to here that lines up pretty good so that's how I did that because it's an, according to the picture it's a nice straight line now I can see from here, this here is a little higher than this uh, in the blue because this stripe here does not have the bottom blue line on it. It's only got two stripes. So what I did is I just marked it through. So now that I got everything marked and I see the one, according to the picture and according to this, goes down in that second stripe. So it's about where we're going to end up there. So I marked everything. So now I'm going to take all this off and then take it in and wash it and go from there. So hopefully, hopefully... Um, we're going to come out okay on this. So it looks like the tape line is just going to go right above this here. Basically right on that. And we'll see if we can get this to look the way it's supposed to look here. So like I said, I'm going to take it in and wash it at this point. This has all been wet sanded down. I uh, kind of go from there. I'll clean it up a little bit more. I see I could use a little wet sanding here, probably from flip-flopping it. Like I said, I've been working on this for quite a while. I'm trying to figure out what's what and what goes where. So hopefully this does the job. So that was what I found worked the best. I just got some of the decals out. And I placed the decals along the side just to make sure they all look okay. If I figured it right, the paint should come up right to the bottom of that blue line so I don't have that line in the middle of the in the decal. Even if I do, that's okay. That's what it looks like there. So I started out and I thought it was a little higher, uh, but then I found this decal here in the center. This wraps around the body. So actually I had the whole thing up higher to start with. But then the higher you go, this will not wrap around the body because it's like, it's tight. So it's got to be about there to start with. So once you get that on there, you can fold around the ends. And if you go any higher, um, you're just going to be basically edge to edge. Yeah, so that's where we ended up at. So I'm going to take all this tape off and just retape the whole thing just to make sure we're good to go. Because I don't want water under these, uh, underneath this tape. And then when I go to hit it, um, you know how that goes and water is going to pop out on top of me here so I'll get this uh, cleaned up and we'll try it from there. All right, we've got her all washed up nice so I'll get these out of the way just in case there's a little water driplet somewhere. Nothing like ruining the day by getting a little water on the decal off the bench. Good times there. So once again we're just going to start with our all the way to the back. Make one line down. I'm going to take this, I'm going to cut this here. I'm 
wrap that like that, like so. My line should stay pretty straight like that. My tape is wrapped around my line on the inside. We're good there. There's that line. Do the same to the side. All right, after that epic saga, we got it all taped up. I think we're ready to go here. I'll get my paint mixed up and we'll get her shot. We'll see how she looks. Uh, like I say, we're using the MCW. This is the dark blue. This is 2049E. So I'll get this mixed up and I'll bring you back. So this has been sitting in the Susie Bake oven for quite a while. Um, it, it's okay. I'm not crazy about it. It really did a lot of bleed through on that blue. So I'm really debating if I want to hit that with another shot or if I want to go and just leave it. So the I went over top of that silver that was on top of that platform. So it, it's transparent because I didn't hit it that hard. I didn't care about that. I was more about that tape line. And I'm not worried about the jagged end because I can wet sand that down just a little bit. Or just to smooth the tape line out before I put decals on it. But I'm just not... I think the blue could have been a little darker because as you can see the bottom. That was very transparent as it, how that painted. So it took a lot of coats to build that blue up. Uh, look, it took a lot more than I thought it was going to take. I thought, being it was a dark blue, I figured it was going to paint like black. Uh, but it just didn't. So I was kind of a little on the disappointment side on that, I guess. Not a big deal. I'm holding the camera by my hand here, so I apologize for a little bit of a shakiness, I guess. So looking at the car, I know it's not sitting hard, percent Try and get that line straight. Let me get the focus here. Like that. That was kind of a challenge, like I said, to get that to where it painted out really nice. Okay, guys, so that's going to wrap up the video on this one. Uh, once again, if you guys have not been, check out Hobby Nut Models. Uh, all the paints that come down from Mark's uh, website, uh, the Tamiya and the MCW. Uh, he has a full line of that in stock usually. So go check them out and grab yourself some nice colors. I'm going to leave with it this, and I'm going to sit there and think it over if I want to repaint that or just let it go. I'm not sure yet. So till next time, guys, we will see you on the next video. And I appreciate you watching, and you guys have a good one. We'll see you. Thanks again.